He is the one, the only, and the master of all frogs, and his name is... Frogs Master 595. Frogs Master 595. Frogs Master 595. Frogs Master 595. Hey guys, this is Frogs Master 595, and YouTube has came into their next problem, and is probably going to be their biggest problem. It's Kappa. And all us Shemmy collectors have heard of that already. Right? Yeah. Some of the Jemmy collectors are thinking of deleting all their videos. Uh, some of them may even be thinking about deleting their channel because of all the videos. Probably not too many, but I'm sure a couple are. Others are planning to make changes to their videos. I've already seen about maybe 10... 15-ish Jemmy accounts talking about this, all from YouTube, of course, and you know, that's not going to be fun. Now, mainly, I think this is going to affect most of the Jemmy collectors, well, not because of the Jemmy items, no, because a bunch of them are very, well, I should probably be honest here, but more immature jokes. I mean, it's only true. And with my channel, maybe that's still there, but it's not as crazy weird as some of the other Jemmy collectors' humor can get. Like, especially their, like, Jemmy meme things. Well, some of those is not really anything, but it's still probably going to affect the whole COPPA thing for having, like, the swear words and some of the memes and things like that. I have memes on this YouTube, but none of them have that. None of swear words, and I'm pretty sure. Maybe there's, like, one, but we'll just see how that one goes. Potty Replay 1, if you wanted to know. Good one. Very good one. So, with other Jemmy collectors, I'm sure they're gonna make videos about it. They're gonna do something... I know one of the most serious ones to one of the collectors was from Syph, Syph or Animatronics. I don't know how to pronounce the name still. It's still too confusing. But that was, at a point, Toot and Woots. Most of you probably know that. Or Singing Fish, that's what it was after Toot and Woots. He seems to be like, as if it's going to be a hard time for him to have to Get through all those videos. And for me, since this is what I think you guys would want to know, it was going to be hard because I have many videos to go through. Like, I've got more videos than any other Jimmy Collector. Any other. I think I have more videos than what GMA has. I don't know for sure, but I think so. The only collector that I think has more is Joe Bean Videos. He's got, like... 25,000 videos or something like that. Like, really that many? I'm serious. You can look. That's completely true and not overestimating at all. I've got about 2,000, I think. Maybe it's still 1,000, but it's definitely over 1,000. That's for sure. But I'd, I'd have a lot of work to do. And I started doing some of the videos, putting the for kids and not for kids thing Obviously, all of you know about what the COPPA thing is already. I don't need to, I don't need to explain that. You all know what that is. Ugh. And I don't know what's with his head. Oh, wait. Uh, he was just turned. For a second I saw, I felt his head got messed up. That would have been bad. Good thing. Don't need that right now, since we're talking about COPPA here, which no one likes. And, of course, it's not just the Jemmy collectors. I mean, there's many other accounts I've... Heard talking about this whole thing, and for them it's probably going to be even worse, at least with some of them. But the Jemmy Collectors, it's still bad because of how many Jemmy Collectors have immature jokes and stuff like that on their channel. But mine is mostly good, luckily. Most of mine is good enough for kids, even though it's not like completely, it's more of a PG. But still, I think it'll be okay. Since all these things are toys here, mostly that's what the jokes come from, is 
the toys, I think it can get away with, like, something like that, because it's still a toy. YouTube will be able to tell with that. I don't know, maybe something will still happen with that, but I don't think so. The COPPA thing has something to do with, like, like toys and stuff in a the video, then it's for kids. The toys present in the video. So I think I'm going to be fine. Now you're probably thinking that I'm going to have to go through all those videos and select if they're for kids or not. Well, some of you are probably thinking that too, and Siphonor Animatronics is. But there's actually way a way to where you don't have to do that. You could just go to YouTube Studio. I think you have to do it from a computer, though. I tried doing it from my phone, but couldn't make it work. But if you do it on a computer, go to YouTube Studio, go to your channel, where it says My Channel, and then you can select if your channel's for kids or not for kids, and then it'll all be good. Like, all your videos will count in for if they're kids or not for kids. So... If you put channel for kids, obviously every video is going to say it's for kids. Now, <coughs> um, the thing about that is that the comments and the likes are all going to be gone. And how is that going to be? Well, it's not going to be good. Not really for the whole likes part of it. Morely for the comments, because I won't know what people think. Of my videos. I won't know. If one of them is really liked. I won't know if. They want to see more. I guess the views could kind of. Tell me that but it's still. So one video might get views for a different reason. That's not. As good as other. Reasons for getting a lot of views. You never know. Ugh. You know I won't be able to see all the. Good comments, the all the comments praising whatever it is that I'm doing for a video. I won't see that when this is under for kids, but if any of you other collectors don't know too much about this and you think I should just put it under for adults, well, because this is clearly not something for adults, your channel could get terminated for doing that, and I cannot risk that. I do not want to have to start a new YouTube channel because it's going to be hard to get all the collectors to see it, I think. So, my channel is going to be put under for kids on the whole thing, which would be the better idea anyway because I don't think there's much of a chance of my channel getting terminated. I mean, what much do I have that's not for kids? I mean... It's all surrounded with these toys anyway. Maybe YouTube won't notice the the very hidden stuff still. But there's still not really a lot of that anyway. Now in the Frog Show, there is some stuff with certain characters. But the Frog Show barely has any views. So, you know, well, some of them have views, but I don't know. I think that'll be okay. So all the frog shows will be put under for kids, but mostly the frog show is just like my other videos too. Honestly, the frog shows are probably more for kids. Oh, well, no, they're, I guess they're probably less still since there's more of a story with that and everything and characters changing and things like that. Especially for one specific episode of the frog show. That one I'm actually worried about, but still it's all just done with toys and they're not really any licensed toys that are popular, so it's not really going to get into that whole thing. Like that SML thing, huh? Some of you may know what I mean about that SML thing. Obviously, he's going to have that problem. And he's probably going to have it pretty bad. I mean, worse than this. But this is still going to be bad for every YouTuber, every creator. Especially with, like, the animation YouTubers, that's going to be something. They're probably going to have it the worst, honestly. Especially for, like, the more adult animation YouTubers like Viv Pop. If you don't know who that is, has been Hotel Watch It. It's good. Yeah, very worried about that one. 
so many of those creators might just go away from YouTube completely. Wonder what that YouTube Rewind is going to be like. Huh. Well, I think that's pretty much it here. This is YouTube's newest problem. And it will probably be their biggest problem and their worst thing for a very long time. I don't think YouTube Rewind 2019 is somehow going to be worse than what is going on right now. So, you know, I know I said it probably wouldn't be, wouldn't be a good idea to go into risks or anything like that. But this isn't related with making a adult joke or a kid joke and putting the video under as adults. No, I'm not doing anything like that, mixing up the system. It's just going to be me saying this to YouTube real quick. YouTube, I think you need to stop. Okay, peace.